Hey everybody, today I'm going to go through etching the pre-coated tumblers like the Arctic, the Yeti, um, Magellan and some other brands uh, with a 10 watt Creality laser using the Creality roller tool. I'm gonna, I've been doing this for a while and so some people were asking about how to set it up and how to use it. So I'm going to go through setup in here and then take it outside to actually do the laser and hopefully add some tips on how to have you be successful. Um, the rotary tool, you can adjust the size of your distance of your wheels depending on where this is at. You can move this knob and this knob to the different holes and shift these closer together. And as you, if you shift them closer together, you're gonna to use this to tension up this belt to make sure that the rollers stay rolling good. If you have, this cup is just one size, so it fits nicely. But if you have one that's multiple level, you can use this to go up and down to make sure your cup is level. So that's really nice addition. And as you center these, you can move this between these holes and forward and backwards to make sure it sits in the center of, of your roller tool to make sure your cup stays center. And the way you hook this up is you hook it up to the Y-axis. The Y-axis plugs in here and then this plugs into the side of the rotary tool, just like that. And I always like it setting with the wheels to the left and Creality facing me. Um, but you set it up, you have it leveled outside, and then what you want to do is set the cup on there. And then adjust this to the height that you want. And I'll go over this outside. Um, some tips that I found is you can get leg extensions on Amazon and on Creality's website that screw into the bottom of, of these legs to make it taller and shorter, which helps making the taller cups easier to uh, laser etch. Um, when setting it up, all you do is you hook it up into the y-axis and your y-axis now becomes a rotation of this and your x-axis is the up and down. You have it plugged in through USB to your computer and then when you turn it on, I'm using light burn. And what we'll do is find the image that you want. Once you have it hooked up, you'll find the image that you want. And I have, you can create it in Lightroom. I created it in Adobe Illustrator, saved it as a PNG file. So I'm going to just drag and drop it on. 
and right now I, I want this image to be about four inches tall so it, it comes out and right now I have it at millimeters and, and so if you click if you click next to rotate where it has millimeter it'll change it to inches um, I want height to be four inches I'll make width about four inches because I have it I have dimensions locked and then after that you want to rotate it 90 degrees you can put 90 degrees and rotate hit enter so that the image is now turned to go up and down this and so I now have my image now setting up the rotary tool for the first time you want to go up to laser tool rotary setup which you can also do control shift r and that opens up your rotary tool setup in in lightburn you want roller checked you want enable rotary you want mirror output to rotary and for rotary access you want the y-axis checked and for millimeters per rotation you want 40.29 in the roller diameter in inches you want 0.66929 inches which is the 17 millimeters in metric and the 17 millimeters is the diameter of this and then this the object diameter and circumference doesn't really matter um, it just gives you a calculator a useful calculator for trying to find the diameter of your, your object and then you click OK and then you come down to devices on the right side and you choose what COM you want what port you want to use and under console you'll see it hook up and, and says OK and um, some useful tips is before you burn um, make sure you preview to make sure your image is what you plan it to be it gives you it'll give you your total time that your image is going to take and rough estimate on everything and the settings I'm using for this one that I found work for a lot is uh, power percentage is I'm at 90 and speed I'm at 55 millimeters per second um, you can go faster but you'll have to up the power a little bit but if you start going too fast the only thing holding this in place is friction so you don't want it to overspin and then stretch out your image so um, I'm going to take this outside and set everything up and do a cut out there and hopefully this will come out lovely. I have brought the Creality 10 watt laser and Creality rotary tool outside. The great thing about it is it is very mobile. Um, you want to make sure you have it set up correctly. You have it lined up 10 inches, 10 inches, and you want it to be lined up down the middle. The cup where you like it. That is about perfect. On the on light burn you can go to console you can go to console I'm sorry move and then have power at three percent if you hit fire you can have your little blue light come on to make sure you have your laser lined up where you would like it. And you can adjust this up and down to get it to be exactly where you want it. Make sure 
sure it's focused. Make sure your cut settings are where you want it, 50, 90 percent. I check the uh, preview and light burn and it should take about 23 minutes. I'm going to frame one last time to make sure it's in the area that I want it. That seems to be perfect. I'm going to check this to make sure one last time. Because once it's cut, look at that, it's good. That's good. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and hit play and start it burning and making sure it ends up being how we want it to be and I will come back after it's done. After 23 minutes or so, it's finished. Let's see uh, how, it, how it came out. Just slide it off. And it comes and it has a little bit of the burn mark on it. You can see how it's dark. And I just use a magic eraser. Start cleaning it up. You can also use metal polish and stuff. And then once you uh, once you wipe it, it's all good. Comes out just like that. So hopefully, hopefully this helps some people out. And I have these images on my Etsy shop, J and N Design Studios. Check us out. And hopefully you enjoyed this video.